guys, so while baby girl is content um, in the car, which rarely happens, she's actually awake and content. We'll see how long that lasts. Um, I wanted to do a little video on how I do things as a new mom. And everything that I said I was going to do or try to do, I didn't necessarily end up doing. Um, there's a couple things that I have in mind that I wanted to talk about. The number one thing that I did talk about for months and months and months was trying to do elimination communication, like right from the get-go, right once she was born. And I have yet to even implement that. It's definitely something I'm still interested in. It just seems like right now, it just seems like too much to do with how often she still goes to the bathroom. Um, and she is eight weeks tomorrow. Um, and I also do use cloth diapers, so I feel like it would be very challenging to bring her to the toilet, take off her diapers, and then have her go over the toilet. It does take time to take off the two layers of diapers, the inner and the outer, and then make it to the toilet in time. I feel like I would end up missing it a lot and I don't know, I'm just a little intimidated by it. So that's one thing that I said I was gonna do that I have not yet done. Um, and then the second thing would be to exclusively only feed off of my breasts. I am pumping enough for my husband to feed her one time at night. He does one of the overnight feedings. Sometimes she only wakes up once. So then I end up either having to pump um, or if she does wake up, then I end up feeding her. But I have had to get up to pump. But the rest of the day, I am feeding her exclusively from my breasts. Um, but I originally thought that that was all I was going to be doing and not even using a pump, but it has come in handy um, to have just a little bit of backup supply and to have him help out for one of the nighttime feedings. Um, so that is one other thing that I do differently. Um, the other thing as a mom that I do differently, at least so far, is I have not had anyone else watch her since she was born. Um, that's just something that, I don't know, I don't know how long it's gonna take me to be okay with trusting someone to watch her. Um, I'm sure she would be fine, but I don't have very close relationships with Steven's family or my family, and so it's, it's a trust thing. Um, and I feel like very like mama bear, like I don't want anyone to take care of her other than me. But obviously I know if I want to go out on a date with my husband or do anything, you know, without her, I would have to have someone else watch her. So that's going to be something that I have to work on. Um, and yeah, so those are a few things that I have done differently as a first time new mom. Um, yeah, I'm sure I will have a lot of other um, things that I change or do as I, you know, am a mom for a longer period of time. But that is the few things that I wanted to share with you. One other thing as a new mom is that I do not have her on any type of schedule. Um, I feed her on demand and when she seems tired and sleepy in the afternoon, I'll try to swaddle her and put her down for a nap. If I am home all day or home during that period of time, I will try to swaddle her and put her down for at least one nap throughout the day. And then the other naps that she takes are pretty much in the carrier as I'm wearing her. Sometimes mini naps in the car, sometimes mini contact naps after breastfeeding. But for the most part, I just will put her down for a nap or have her sleep, you know, when she's tired, feed her when she's hungry, um, and so on and so forth. So I am not really strict with any kind of schedule. I feel like too strict of a schedule would stress me out. Um, and I had even like some, a few days when I was trying to put her down for her afternoon nap so I could like work out and get some things done during the house. She just wasn't 
in the mood to go down for a nap, but I kept trying and it ended up stretching out between like a three hour period where I was like putting her down, getting her back up, putting her down, getting her back up. And that was just causing me a lot of stress. And I'm like, I do not want, like if she's not tired, I don't need to put her down, you know? And that's kind of how I am at nighttime as well. She does normally go down really easily at night, but occasionally it will take like a couple hours of like, feeding her, putting her down, rocking her, putting her down. Um, and sometimes my husband has jumped in and I just feel like it causes more stress than what's necessary, you know? Um, and it, it depends on the day, it depends on what time she woke up in the morning, how much she napped, how much she ate. Um, so yeah, I think we're going to end it here cause she is starting to get a little, a little fussy. So before that escalates, I'm going to bring her up, but yeah, I'm sure there will be many other segments to the this kind of a video, this kind of topic. Um, but yeah, I would love to connect with more mamas um, on here and sending all my love.